Hello, my friend. My name is Anton from Canuk.com and we continue our demo series about our new tool called PYJNMI, which is the Python library to manage network elements with JNMI. Today, the third video, and in this video, we will discover the third RPC, which is called SET. Previously, in first two videos, we have reviewed the capabilities and um, get so the four uh, we know how to get information about the network elements we know how to collect their configuration or operational data today we are doing the third step so said we will take a look how we could modify the configuration of the network element either to create new or modify existing or delete um, the configuration that we don't need anymore just to recap the um, Topology which we are using. We have our server running PYJNMI. It has both APU4 and APU6 addresses, and we are connecting to two network functions: um, router um, Arista EOS and uh, Nokia SRS. Uh, to one of the devices, we are connecting using APU6. To another, we are connecting using APU4, so that you see uh, both of the examples in live. So, uh, in the previous scenario we have already created a simple script when it was uh, building the get tool which allows us to collect the information today's video will be based on the previous that's why if you don't understand how the script look like we strongly advise you to review the previous one about the get so copy this code and we will create a new Python file which would call setpy after the name of the um, RPC, JNMI RPC we are going to perform. So to revise, we have our py JNMI and from the sub model client, we are importing the JNMI client, which is handling the interaction with the network element. From the inventory, local inventory file.py, where we have details for uh, connectivity with our network element, so IP address, uh, type of the operating system, uh, port, which uh, the um, JNMI is working on on the device, and their credentials. So we are importing this um, list hosts into our main script and we could work with it. So um, we don't need the passes at this stage, at least yet. So we will delete this and uh, we uh, would uh, start working with our set calls. So again, to connect to the network element, we are using the connect context manager with S, creating the connectivity where we provide in the tuple format, the IP address and the port, then username, password. We are using in our lab insecure, so we are using the credentials to authenticate and connect to the network elements. We do not use any uh, certificates, if you'd like, instead of using the insecure, you could, um, you would need to provide the password. We'll show how to use secure channel in our future videos once we continue, like once we will complete the review of all four existing um, calls. So, as such, once we have our context manager and connectivity build, we need to collect uh, or we need to push some configuration. So, how we are pushing configuration? So using created uh, object, we are taking the call or the method called set. So the method set contain multiple uh, various uh, keys which we might need to provide. So the keys are as follows, delete, replace, and update. Uh, all of them are specific operations which are existing in the JNMI framework. The delete means we need we would like to delete some configuration from the network element. We can do it uh, using them. Um, so the format that we need to provide, we provide the list of the uh, strings. So the same format as we have provided the passes in the uh, get videos in the previous one. Uh, the next two, replace and update, they are also lists, but they contain a little bit more complicated data structure. So the reason why the data structure is a little bit more complicated because it needs to contain two elements. One element is also the pass, so just a string, what we are going to configure. And the second pass uh, or the second element is a dictionary. This dictionary contains the information uh, about what exactly we would like to configure. So we have prepared um, several messages which we will push down to our network element. Let's import them. So uh, we, we 
put them in the file called messages. We will uh, take a look into this file just in a few uh, seconds. So from messages, we'd like to import all the message, messages which we have created there. Let's take a look inside this file. So it's quite a big one. The first one we have created a um, list called Nokia update. So you see it is a list. So let me probably um, close it. So you see this is a list. Inside the list, we have two tuples. So um, each tuple contain the pass, which is the first element of the tuple, and the configuration. As you see, the configuration is provided is a native uh, Python dictionary format. So following the YAN model, that specific device speak. Um, it could be, uh, so it, it means that you need to understand the model, right? So how you could understand, you could either use uh, some um, tools uh, such as basically POI genome. My way we could collect the information, I mean, configuration like we was doing previously in the uh, set format, like if we would like to run a Python get like we was doing in the previous session. So we are getting the configuration. So you could take a look what is the structure of the configuration you would like to build. Um, or um, there are some other Python tools for YAN um, uh, build, which um, uh, allows you to uh, build the structure of the uh, your young models and understand what that data you need to send. So probably the most popular is Puyang. So you could take a look or you could come to our training where we'd explain you how to use Puyang in various constellations. So going back to our PYJNMI tool, we provide in our uh, list what we are going to configure on the network element, the pass again, the first element of the tuple and the second following the open config YAN model for the interfaces we provide all the details we'd like to put there so name of the interface ip addresses ip v6 ip addresses we have also uh the second element here so and that's why you see we are providing the list uh, in the nokia it is required to configure two elements when we configure um, interfaces the first we configure the interface itself under the open config interfaces YAN model. And the second, if the interface contains IP address and should be routable, we need to add it to a corresponding uh, routing table, which is based by default for the Nokia. And in this uh, routing table, uh, we uh, would uh, add the created interface and sub-interface and tell which are the associated IP uh, address family, so IPv4 or IPv6. Uh, this is coming from another YAN model, open config network instances. Later, uh, when we will be taking a look into the delete models, we will delete the same. Um, just probably jumping a bit up front, the passes, the, as you see, first of all, uh, the structure of the delete message is exactly the same as we are used for the get the same pass. And uh, what we will be deleting, we will be deleting what we have configured previously, so the same passes. So looking into the Arista, Arista internal implementation is slightly different to the Nokia. So that's why if you would like to create an interface, we just need to create it under the um, open config interface models. Uh, same uh, content here internally. So we provide following the YAN data model, open config YAN data model for the interfaces. The details such as interface name, description type of the interface, IPv4 addresses, IPv6 addresses. And this is Arista. Um, Arista have some augmentation to the open config model. So that's why in certain cases we need to add. So we need to know how the exactly open config from the Arista look like. Again, doing the get previously uh, would help you a lot. And uh, finally, we'll be also deleting um, the uh, interfaces from the Arista as well. So um, despite when we create the interface, we need to provide only one pass. When we would delete interface, we need to provide the two passes because uh, the mapping of the interface to the address for uh, to the address families uh, Arista would make automatically. And uh, for the delete, unfortunately, we need to provide explicitly the same two passes. We need to first deassociate the interface from the uh, routing table, and then we need to delete the interface. So first of all, uh, in our um, set messages, um, when we'd like to change the configuration, we will provide the update which um, shall give us configuration. So we have two, depending on the operating system type, right? So either list Nokia update, which we would like to push to the Nokia or uh, Arista update, which we would like to push 
for uh, the um, Arista. So we'll create a very simple here conditional if uh, structure. So if the type of the network operating system, which is provided in our inventory, so NOS, if the type of the network operating system is Arista EOS, um, at the message we will take the message Arista update. We'll also create uh, the message like uh, for deletion, so Arista delete. So if our network operating system type of our host is Nokia SRS, then we'll create the same set of the messages. However, there will be Nokia update and Nokia delete. So um, in general, you could provide to a single set uh, or call multiple different things. So you could provide both uh, update and replace and delete. So you would like, uh, you could change with one call a lot of different configuration. So in our case, uh, we'll do it sequentially. So first of all, let's uh, create the messages, uh, the message M, which would create for us new interfaces. Let's uh, briefly jump back to our network devices. So you see this JNMI. Uh, show IP interface brief, uh, show that we have at this point only interface Ethernet with an IP address and management interface with an IP address. If you would take a look on the um, Nokia show router interfaces, it will also show for us that we have so far only one interface. Um, we also have system which is uh, not yet configured. So um, what we will do just before we'll push the configuration in our messages, for the Nokia, we have created interface 11C12. So as you see, we don't have, it is here, we have only 11C11. So we'd like to create the second interface. Um, uh, we will add uh, IP addresses, IPv4, IPv6, and we uh, would associate it uh, into the standard uh, routing context, which is called base in the Nokia, and we'll associate interface both with IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. What we are going to do on the Arista, we would like to create interface loopback zero, uh, as you see, we do not have the interface loopback zero yet. So we need to create it. And we will add also IPv4 and IPv6 addresses there. So um, let's execute our script right now. So Python set. So um, the script uh, has predefined what we have from the previous um, session, um, small output, which uh, prints the result of the call associated with a specific IP address so that we understand what has happened on which device. So looking uh, in details, we would see that for IP uh, v6 address, which is corresponding to the Arista. So jumping back, you see that uh, FC 169.254.255a, this is Arista, and 169.254.255.11, this is the Nokia. So for Arista, they're getting the response that configuration was successfully updated. So you see the status update. For Nokia, we have performed, uh, this is IP address of the Nokia, we have performed two calls and you see in the both calls we have status update, which means it's successfully updated. Uh, let's validate whether it is really successfully and going back to our devices, if in our show IP interface brief on the Arista, we would see that interface is created, they have IP address here. If we go um, on the Nokia side and we run show router interface, we would see the new created interfaces. It is done because we don't have any um, like interface plugged. So uh, that's why it, it cannot go up physically. However, uh, we will see here IPv4 and IPv6 addresses, uh, which, is, which are coming out of our uh, created messages. So let's say uh, you don't need uh, these uh, messages anymore and, and these interfaces anymore and you would like to delete them. Then you could, instead of having update, you could run delete message. And for delete, we need to take the, um, another message, which is called delete. 
So again, to remind, again, to remind, we, as the delete messages, provide just a list uh, which contains the strings, right? General strings, no specifics. The PYG model will automatically convert it into the propped above uh, formats. And uh, we would delete then configuration from the uh, network elements for these passes. Let's perform the configuration with the delete messages T. So um, as said for Nokia, for Arista, we have two messages and for Nokia, we have also these uh, no, messages pass we need to delete. Let's run our script again. And we are getting the responses that for both elements for Arista, we have deleted two passes. So you see that the operation delete was done successfully. And the same uh, we see for uh, the Nokia that we have deleted um, the interface from the association with the routing context and the interface generally. Let's validate on our devices what uh, the output right now. So if we take a look, we see that IP address is successfully deleted from the um, Arista. However, the interface fully is not deleted. The reason is just how Arista handles JNMI internally, because if something would be wrong with our call, we would get the message about that. And um, the interface, uh, the IP address is deleted from the interface, which is good. So it means so they are, it would not be announced anymore or used if we ever used it somewhere. Let's take a look on the Nokia. So Nokia delete uh, the interface completely. So we do not have it anymore so and if you'd like to validate uh, their configuration uh, on the Nokia we have a dedicated open config section in which we could take a look and we would see that we see only the previous info interface so 11c1 we don't have any more information 11c21 and the same uh, for network instances. Configuration is gone and uh, this creates for you the possibility to manage the network element using the JNMI. So uh, the replace uh, call works exactly in the same way like the um, update. So the same met message structure should be, so it should be list of tuples where the first element of the tuple is the pass and the second a the Python dictionary, which is associated um, with the pass, what you would like to change, and uh, um, following the YAN model that the device supports. This is concluding our today's session. So uh, you have learned how to change the configuration of the network element using PYJNMI and uh, set message. So you could create and delete configuration successfully. And uh, in the next video, we'll take a look how to implement the telemetry using PYG in my client. Stay tuned, stay safe. Thank you very much for your attention. Take care and goodbye.